Hello, hello everyone. Uh, this is Mr. Market Switch. I'm back, I'm back. As I promised that uh, today we're gonna have a wonderful session. We want to make an overall market analysis for the coming week. Uh, this week I'm by in Asia to record na wakati mzuri sana sokoni na wapi ongera wale ambao wale ambao waliweza uh, kupata fursa ya ku ya kuweza ku trade news vizuri lakini pia hata wale ambao uh, kuweza ku trade news vizuri bado bado we still have an opportunity for the coming week uzuri ni kwamba soko la forex lipo na huna una haja ya ku ya, kukim, ya kukimbiza na nalo kwa sababu kama siku opportunity imekupita it doesn't mean kwamba opportunity hazipo eh opportunity itatokea tena utaingia sokoni uta trade vizuri na mambo yatakuwa yatakuwa mazuri na ndio maana tuna wiki inayokuja ambayo i expect kwamba itakuwa ni wiki nzuri and i'm sure i'm sure that you guys are going to are going to make are going to make good money of course yes of course yes you're going to make good money because you are here with uh with an experienced uh market analyst and i'm here to show you what opportunity that you're supposed to be looking at for the next week kwa hiyo uh tutakuwa na hiyo tutakuwa tunatumia trade strategy yetu ambayo ni market maker method tunatumia institution method ambayo inahusisha namna ambavyo uh, market uh, market makers wana wana trade ama wana wanalitazama soko na sisi tunatakiwa kulitazama kama wao wanavyolitazama na tunakuwa tunakwenda nao sambamba kwa sababu hao watu ukienda nao kinyume tu ni pale ambako utaanza kuona forex uh, sio biashara halisi na pengine ni biashara ambayo imeleta umaskini kwenye maisha yako so guys uh, today uh, Analysis yetu itakuwa our watch list will be uh, uh, the following pairs you have GBP USD GBP JPY Euro USD Euro JPY gold uh, CHF Swiss franc Japanese yen USD and the Canadian dollar USD Japanese yen United States uh, dollar or USD and the Swiss franc so this uh, will be our watch list main watch list i can add more wakati tunafanya analysis lakini uh, these are the main main pairs that we'll be looking at. Let's start with GBPUSD. Uh, kuna vitu vya kutazama na kama ambavyo nimekuwa nikisema kila siku kwamba kwenye analysis mimi hupenda kutazama picha kubwa ya kwanza uh, kabla ya kwenda kwenye picha ndogo. Na kimsingi kwenye picha ndogo tunalenga sana intraday traders na swing traders. Lakini wale ambao ni positional traders wenye wanatazama soko katika picha kubwa kwa sababu wanaweza wakaholdi kwa miezi kadhaa, miezi mitatu, minne, miezi sita uh, wakiwa wame uh, positions zao zina run sokoni. So for us who are, are, are swing most intraday traders uh, tutakuwa tunaangalia uh, soko kwenye picha kubwa kwa maana tu ya kufahamu uh, mwelekeo mkubwa wa soko na kujua kwamba watu will be our action on smaller time frame. Okay. So this is uh this is actually GBP USD as you can see GBP USD here uh imekuwa na downtrend. This is a downtrend kwenye monthly chart. Kwenye monthly chart imekuwa ni downtrend. Imekuwa ni downtrend kwa miaka karibu uh kwa miaka karibu kumi na kitu sasa. Kwa miaka karibu kumi na kitu sasa. Almost almost miaka kumi na moja kama sio kumi. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu tunaitazama kuanzia hapa ambako ilianza kuporomoka ni 2007 tarehe moja mwezi wa kumna moja kwenye hii kendo ya pili baada ya hii hapa kwenye hii kendo ya pili tarehe uh, tarehe moja uh, ilikuwa ni tarehe moja mwezi wa kumi na mbili 2007 uh, Disemba kama hii ndipo ambako uh, GBP USD uh, uh, ilikuwa ina sell so it went down like that na massive uh, uh, downfall 
massive downfall ilitokea 2008 na fili kwenye economic crisis pale ndio ambako currency nyingine nyingi zili ziliyumba kwa sababu hata uchumi mkubwa wa, wa, wa taifa kubwa kama Marekani ukiyumba kidogo maana yake nyingine wengine huko ni kupromoka sio kuyumba ni, ku, ni kuanguka kwa hiyo nafikiri you can see what happened you can see what happened kwa hiyo it was a massive downfall it was a massive downfall eh downfall 2008 mpaka tunamaliza 2008 kuupokea 2009 bado ilikuwa na fall Eh, wengine sijui mlikuwa form uh, wengine mlikuwa form 1 wengine mlikuwa kwa sababu kama tunazungumza 2007 wengine walikuwa form 1 wengine ndio sala saba ambao mna trade sasa hivi na ambao mnafuatilia hii hii clip so i believe that some of you guys were yani ulikuwa hata ujui duniani kama kuna kitu kinachoitwa forex lakini huku kuna watu walikuwa wanatengeneza fedha kwenye hizi downfall wakati na dondoka kuna watu walikuwa wanatengeneza fedha guys so uh, this downfall here i'm sure wale ambao waliweza kuinyaka vizuri hizi opportunity uh, hii downfall hapa ili tutengenezea mamilionea kadhaa duniani. Ilitengenezea mamilionea kadhaa duniani kwa sababu ilishuka kwa pips 5500 na 19 mpaka 2009 toka 2008 uh, kutoka 2007 Disemba mpaka 2009 na, uh, na mpaka 2009 actually ni Uh, mwaka mmoja mwaka mmoja mzima uh, pia inakuwa inadondoka tu can you imagine mwaka mmoja mzima pia inakuwa inadondoka tu mwaka mmoja na miezi kadhaa so uh, you, can, you can see kwa hiyo uh, kwa mtu ambaye ali, ali, aliweza kusoma ile issue ya economic crisis vizuri na akagundua kwamba it can affect the pairs maana yake uh, aliweka tu hata uh, position yake moja ya 0.1 uh, kama ni position trader kai hold kwa mwaka mzima manake alitengeneza kwa 0.1 0.1 unaweza kaingia na mtaji hata wa dola 100 dola 50 unaweza kaingia na 0.1 na ikakubali kwa hiyo kwa mtu ambaye alikuwa na mtaji wa dola 100 akaweka position yake moja 0.1 uh, katika fall hii kwa sababu uh, hii fall unaiona hapa uh, let's say this one ya, hapa achana nako tuseme hapa ambako ilianza ku fall straight kwenye hii fall ya hii kendo mtu aliingia na hii kendo hapa aka fall nayo haikuwahi kurudi haikuwahi kurudi haikuwahi kurudi kufika hapa ambako ilianzia na hata alianza nayo hapa juu hapa juu kwenye kendo ya pili uh, bado hakuwahi haku kuingia kwenye loss yani position aliyoingia nayo kwenye hii kendo haikuwahi kurudi kwenye loss uh, kwa maana kwamba hata mtu aliyeingia na dola 100 kwa position ya 0.1 akai hold kwa mwaka mzima alikuwa safe in profit only Safe in profit only kwa mwaka mzima kwa sababu ilikuwa na dondoka imedondoka kutoka hapa mpaka hapa uh, ni pipsi F6. Kwa hiyo uh, mwisho mwaka huyu bwana kutoka kwenye mtaji wake wa dola 100 angekuwa na utajiri wa dola F6 karibu F7. F6 700 na kitu. So guys, you can see how important it is to make a follow up. Kwa sababu ndio maana nimekuwa nikisema kwamba kwa mtu ambaye umeshakuwa ni forex trader that means you must be exposed to what is happening on uh, on the planet if you are not exposed if you don't you don't know what is going on around the world then you will be left behind and uh, sometimes you can be uh, you, you may not be able to explain some action that are happening in the market for example someone who doesn't even know what is happening around the uh, around the, the, the planet means asingeza kuelezea what is happening angesema labda this is just an action of the market no there must be something behind something behind ndio tunaamini kwamba kuna issues za market maker method and so on and so forth but uh, kuna wakati soko likiwa driven by uh, uh, any kind of fundamental uh, or economic data uh, linaweza likatembea katika katika movement ambayo haikutarajiwa kabisa 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 kwa hiyo hapa dunia ilikuwa kwenye hali ya hali mbaya sana Okay, kwa hiyo ilishuka kwa mfumo huo. Uh, 2009, 2009 mwezi wa tano ndo soko ikaanza ku kidogo. Ka regain, ka regain kaingia kwenye range market hapa kwa muda wa kutoka 2000 kutoka baada ya hii massive uh, fall down kutoka 2009 kutoka 2009 uh, tunakwenda mpaka 2000 2000 na ngapi? 2000 na 14 mpaka miaka mitano soko lilikuwa kwenye range range manake 
likuwa natengeza sideway you can see you can see what is happening here something like this okay uh, tuna tuna range market hapa guys we have range market kwa hiyo tungeweza kuweka uh, tungeweza kuweka ka box hapa okay mbako ina bounce na kurudi na kengine tungeweza kukaweka hapa chini kabisa eh uh, tutengeneza box za kutosha kwa sababu hii ni expanded expanded uh, expanded uh, sideway market ama range market alafu hii ambao unaiona ndani uh, tunazo 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 tatu uh, kuna hii a little bit condensed uh, condensed flani hivi uh, lakini pia uh, you can see we have this one this one kwa zote hizi ni za kuzingatia na hata hizi za huku ndani kwa tuna expanded huwa tun, tunakuwa na expanded uh, range market uh, ama extended na kuna ile condensed range market so that's not my my topic for today uh, lakini ni vyema ukizingatia hizo kwa sababu soko lita behave either on expanded ama extended range market na uh, range market zone na au kwenye zile uh, zile zile uh, uh, condensed range market zone soko litakuwa na behave on those areas guys soko litakuwa na behave on those areas so you can see this is range this is range this is range market baadaye ikatokea uh, continuation baada ya kufanya breakout soko likafanya breakout down here alafu likaendelea kushuka lakini alikuendelea kushuka zaidi baadaye likaja likafanya pullback kind of pullback ambayo haikufika kwenye trend line na hapa ndiko mali ambako nataka niangalie zaidi leo kwa nini kwa sababu you can see guys uh, this one here tunategemea kwamba soko li behave kwenye hii trend line kwa namna ya kawaida tu kwa maana ya ya uh, setup ya kawaida ya technical uh, analysis ya kawaida tunategemea i behave kwenye hii kwenye hii trend line okay but this time around you can see soko limefika hapa tu alafu lime limegeuza as if ilikuwa anakuja kufanya some kind of uh, some kind some sort of retest labda kwenye hii breakout pia kwenye range market kama hii lakini pia uh, lina uwezo soko wa kurudi na kufanya retest hapa kwenye trend line alafu ndipo ndipo li either lifanya breakout kwenda juu ama lishuke liendelee see guys so that's what i expect that's what i'm i'm, I'm looking i'm seeing right now and uh, this tend to happen hiyo inatokea kwa hapa wala usi umize kichwa sana kusema what is this and so on and so forth mbona sijaona uh, opportunity hapo don't worry na kuonyesha picha kubwa ili tunapoenda kwenye picha ndogo ikusaidie kufanya maamuzi so what i've said uh, nimesema kwamba yawezekana hii soko hapa lingeo kufanya retest kwenye ile eneo kwa sababu baada ya kufanya breakout maeneo hayo hakuna any clear uh, retest ambayo itafanya itakuwa imefanyika kwenda lakini pia hata hii hii hi soko ku behave kwenye hizi haya maeneo uh, as you can see soko lina behave kwenye haya maeneo hapa tujaona bado baada ya kushuka hivi kwa inawezekana ikarudi kuya ku behave kwenye haya maeneo so this is the big picture kwenye uh, this is the big picture kwenye time frame kubwa okay uh, so tunarudi kwenye time frame ndogo kwenye time frame ndogo kwenye weekly kwenye weekly hatuna kitu cha kutazama sana hapa kwa sababu tumeshaona time frame kubwa uh, mahali soko lipo na tuna scenario mbili either soko lifanye continuation ya kuendelea kuseli ama libuy sasa tutaamua hivyo baada ya kuangalia uh, barabara wanazotumia market makers kupita unajua market makers hawa pamoja na kwamba wanatumia hizo uh, uh, strategy zao lakini ukienda katika strategy yao hiyo hiyo ukaigundua means wakiwa wanafanya movement zao na wewe unapita mule mule you just go right where they are passing through you be just behind them or with them but not not, not don't, don't be behind them just go with them <laughs> lazima usiachwe 
nenda nao kwa sababu usipoenda nao au kiachwa kinakula kwako alright guys alright 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 so kwenye wiki we don't just uh, tuna kitu kikubwa cha kutazama hapo uh, nafikiri sasa tuanze analisi yetu kwenye kwenye uh, kwenye hii daily chart kwa sababu hii ndio inatuzu sana sisi ambao ni intraday trader pamoja na swing traders alright guys uh, as you can see tulifanya analisi wiki kadhaa zilizopita za pair za GBP uh, tukaona kwamba ningetutengenezea opportunity fulani na bahati nzuri bahati nzuri ni kwamba uh, tulitengenezea opportunity opportunity kadhaa sokoni na tuliweza kuzi, kuzitumia vizuri and thank god kwamba uh, watu waliweza kunufaika nazo alright so today we have uh, this is this is gbp usd guys this is gbp usd when you look at gbp usd kwenye time frame hii kubwa uh, ya daily you can see there was a massive falling from this point here uh, kuja chini there was a massive falling massive falling after creation of this pattern you can call this pattern uh, an m pattern because you have this top and this top which is which make it to be a double top uh, kwa jina lingine wanaweza kaita uh, uh, m pattern uh, ika fall down ka fall down katika katika uh, katika mfumo huu eh yeah, you can see you can see and you can see hapa soko likaanza kutengeneza likaanza kwenda katika mfumo wa sideway hapa tuna some sort of consolidation lakini soko limeanza kwenda katika mfumo wa sideway hapa kwenda narudi na panda narudi eh? as you can see this has been the behavior of gbp usd in this level okay so now the question is what are we looking at kwenye daily chart tunaangalia soko liko wapi ukiangalia vizuri hapa unaona soko lipo kwenye kwenye hili eneo lakini pia kuna uh, there are something i used to check the market namba ni tumie hii uh, imekuwa naitumia hii ukiangalia uh, this one of my favorite uh, favorite indicator ambao wanaitumia pia sometimes kuangalia ukiangalia uh, you can see this moving average kwenye ile eneo zipo kwenye ziko below 10 na ukiangalia hapa nimekuwa kuonyesha kwamba uh, endapo is moving averages itakuwa above 90 maana yake itakuwa ni strong strong sell kwamba soko liko juu kwa hiyo litaporomoka uh, ikiwa above uh, above 80 above 80 maana yake hii ni strong uh, hii ni just sell just sell uh, sio strong sell lakini ikiwa above above 90 ni strong sell. Kwa mfano hapa, you see it was above 60. Kama liko above 60 na ipo ndani ya hii zone, maana it is a sell opportunity. Kwa mtu ambaye alikuta hii maeneo haya aka sell, atakuwa kwenye advantage kubwa. You can see guys, this is how powerful it is. Okay. Ikiwa kwenye maeneo huko chini, this is this is uh, level 20 and this is 10. Ikiwa chini ya 20, ikiwa chini ya 20, uh, isi ni isi ni stochastic ikiwa chini ya 20 uh, manake 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 ni buy just buy lakini ikiwa chini ya 10 yani kama hapa moving average sasa hivi ziko chini ya 10 you can see at this point ziko chini ya 10 manake this is a strong buy it's a strong buy all right uh, it's not it's not it's not something to trust 100% kila wakati lakini ni additional evidence inakuwa ni additional evidence inayokusaidia kufanya maamuzi sokoni na unakuwa unaweza kuiungamanisha na kila ambacho unakiona sokoni alafu kikawa kinafanya kazi kinafanya kazi vizuri alright guys kwa hiyo uh, right now you already know about that kwamba tupo kwenye strong buy tupo chini kabisa kule kwenye kwenye sakafu which means any decision to buy, uh, to sell at this point any decision to sell gbp usd at this point technically technically to kawaida 
any decision to sell at this point is uh, is a valid is a, uh, is an invalid it is not a valid decision it is not a right decision don't sell at this level don't sell at this point don't sell at this point labda kama breakout ikitokea ikitokea breakout eh uh, tokea breakout na retest alafu kukawa na market maker pattern ya ku, kwenye small time frame ya kuonyesha kwamba uh, tutaenda kusel kwa maana labda ya M pattern uh, tutaangalia kwenye masuala ya high of the day na low of the day hapa ungeza kusel baada ya retest retest ya ile eneo sawa so, guys lakini uh, manake hii ni trade ya kusubiri kama unataka kusel if you want to sell you need to wait mpaka umeconfirm kila kitu lakini hapo tulipo sasa hivi it is a strong buy it is a strong buy why because we are at this level where there is uh, this support but not support tumesha ona kwamba hata indicator zetu zinatuonyesha kwamba it is now in the zone of strong 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 buy all right sasa hebu tuangalie sasa tufanye analysis yetu kwa kutumia market maker method kwenye 4 hours time frame naomba hizi hatua nazo kwenda nazo uzizingatie kwa sababu uh, huwa sifanyi analysis kwenye time frame yote tu huwa naangalia kwa sababu hata counting of levels huwa natumia sana natumia sana hii 4 hours time frame uh, sometimes you can use you can use uh, unaweza kutumia daily lakini most of time kwa sisi ambao ni swing pamoja na uh, intraday traders uh, ni vyema kutumia 4 hours time frame kwenye masuala ya counting na mambo mengine yatakuwa yatakuwa mazuri kabisa All right. So, ah, uh, naomba niondoe hiyo ya indicator itanisumbua. Niende kwenye hii ambayo haina indicators. So this is a 4 hours time frame. Ya pair ya GBP USD. Ah, uh, you see, uh, tumekuwa na fall down kutoka hapa. Eh, kumbuka hapa juu tuna M pattern. Hii M pattern ya hapa juu huwezi kuiona vizuri kwenye 4 hours. Lakini Let's say tumeka alama hapa. Ukija kwenye 1 hour time frame. Alafu angalia pale tupeka alama. Uh, one hour time frame. Alafu tuangalie pale tulipoweka alama. You can see this is an M pattern. We have M pattern here. Yapokuwa ni very condensed. Uh, you can see this up there. Uh, tunaona toka hapo kwenye mpaka hapa uh, double top ama M pattern so lazima ikuonyeshe separation ya zile candles moja kwa moja inawezekana zikawa ni candle ambazo zimejipanga lakini katika kujipanga kwake zile za kushuka na zile za kupanda zikawa zimetengeneza M pattern sasa wewe unaweza ukaachwa kwenye opportunity bila kujua kwamba tayari tumeshapata M pattern so you can see inaonekana vizuri hapo kabisa guys. Unaweza kuiona vizuri kabi vizuri kabisa kabisa that is our uh, M pattern ama double top ambayo imeform na imefuata sheria zote kwa sababu ule mguu wa pili unaona kabisa haujaenda kuzidi ile hai ya kwanza uh, ya mguu wa kwanza. Sawa sawa. Alright, tutaangalia vizuri zaidi baadaye. So kutoka hapa tulikuwa na uh, level 1 tuka move this is was level 1 namba tuweke kutoka hapo juu na tumerudi kwenye 4 hour time frame so this is level 1 this is level 1 this is level 1 uh, baada level 1 tukafanya pullback tumeenda level 2 this is a second push uh, na nilishawaeleza kwamba kwa nini wanafanya three pushes why are they doing three pushes this is a psychological uh, a psychological kind of business because what they are doing they are playing with your mind guys they are playing with your mind wana push mara ya kwanza alafu wanafanya pull back kuonyesha kwamba pengine uh, we are going back to where you are you, where, where you set your position or where you entered eh kwa hiyo wewe utasema ah it's coming it's coming it's coming inarudi inarudi hiyo eh inarudi inarudi wana push mara ya tatu eh uh, afu wanafanya pullback umeendelea ku hold position yako kwenye loss 
kati na fanya pullback unasema inarudi unaongeza position wanaenda wana push mara ya, 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 ya tatu wanakumaliza kabisa unakuwa umeunguza account na umeondoka sokoni na haupo au survive lakini pia at the same time uh, kwenye hizi pullback kuna watu wanakuwa trap hmm? kwenye hizi pullback mtu ameona uh, uh, imetokea massive sell kama hii hapa alafu kaanza kubaya akasema sasa now is buy akabai 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 sasa hivyo buy hivyo fika hapa ikatengeneza hiki kenda ndefu asema ah hii inaenda hapa imagine hichi kitu hakipo eh, let me show you something let me show you how they do these things guys kwa sababu wewe kujua hichi kitu kitakusaidia sana ashumu ashumu hichi kitu hakipo hapa yani naomba uashumu hichi kitu hakipo yani kuanzia hapo mpaka huku ashumu hichi kitu hakipo yani hichi ashumu hichi hapa hakipo sawa sikilize kwa makini just ashumu kwamba hicho hakipo ashumu hakipo sawa nataka ni rangi ambayo inaweza ika kaondoa kabisa ikafunga kabisa hizo inaonekana hapo sasa so, sijiweke rangi gani yeah pengine ashumu hicho kitu hakipo hichi Afu ashumu ndo hii kendo tu hapa hivi. Muone mepush mepush hapa, ndio? Eh, kaona mepush hapa kendo kubwa, eh? Paka hapa. Kuna mtu aliingia hapa kubai. Why? Akiwa naamini kwamba soko lina behave kwenye support and resistance. Kwa hiyo akasema kwamba litakuja kugeukia kwenye hii kwenye hii resistance hapa. Akiamini sasa kutoka hapa alipoingia soko lazima lije mpaka hapa kwenye resistance ndio liofanye pullback. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu amesoma kwenye vitabu kwamba soko lina behave between support and resistance. Alizi kageukia sehemu yote. Sasa wewe uki, uki, ukiishi kwenye maisha ya forex kwa mfumo huo utakuja kujuta na utashangaa uta unapoteza ila kila siku sokoni. Kabisa I tell you. I tell you I was there. I know what I'm saying. So, utakuwa unapoteza kila siku lakini once you understand the logic behind kwamba these guys movement ni ya kwenda chini. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu movement ya hapa mpaka hapa wameshamaliza, wamesha push mara tatu kwenda juu huku na wameshatengeneza pattern hapa kuja chini. Hizi hizi push ambazo hizi uh, candle ambazo unaona zimepanda hapa. Hizi push ujaziona vizuri kwenye hauwezi kuziona vizuri kwenye 4 hours na ndio maana lazima utumie multi time frame strategy kuangalia hizi level pia. Kwa mfano hapo unaweza ukaja ukaangalia hizo level uh, kwenye time frame dogo uh, zile level za kushuka zile okay you can see naomba ni send vizuri okay okay do you see unaweza kuziona hizi level unaona eh see these pushes this impulse pushes this one kuna hii hapa na kuna hii kutoka hapa chini sawa kwa hiyo hapa hapa kulikuwa kuna kitu kama inverse of head and shoulder. Shoulder ya kwanza, shoulder ya pili in head. Kwa hiyo 1 hapo, alafu 2, push ya pili, alafu 3. So, first of, th- thing to understand, the f- first thing to identify is to identify the pattern. Hii pattern ni, ni head ni he- inverse head and shoulder lakini ambayo imeka uh, imeka kimnyongoroto nyongoroto. Huwezi kuielewa kiu rahisi. Lakini this is an uh, inverse of head because this is a shoulder and this is a shoulder kwa imesha maliza 3 pushes up. Pia ambayo imesha maliza 3 pushes up. Au 3 pushes down. What you are going to do, ukishaona pia kama hiyo, ni kuangalia reversal pattern ambayo inakuwa formed at the peak um, at the uh, at the trough kwa maana ya high ama low, alafu then unaangalia opportunity. Kwa mfano hapa, tuna level 1, level 2. Level 2 na hizi level tofauti yake ni kwamba uh, uh, ili level ya pili uh, this is level 2 sorry naomba nibadilishe uh, kitu cha msingi ni kwamba ili level ya pili iweze kuwa iweze kuwa legit lazima ile level ya pili iweze kuizidi uh, kidogo kwa mfano hapa level ya kwanza level ya kwanza si unaona ili ishia hapa kutoka hapa juu mpaka hapa sawa unaweza kaona 
kwa hiyo level ya pili naona imeivuka kwa hiyo lazima ivuke kwa hiyo hii sasa tunahesabu kama hii ni level ya pili sawa sawa we together guys baada ya level ya pili tunaona tuna level ya ya tatu level ya tatu tunaionaje angalia level ya pili ilikuwa imeshia yapi level ya pili imeshia hapa sawa sawa kwa hiyo level ya tatu level ya tatu guys imeanzia hapa hiyo ni piki ya level ya tatu imeshuka mpaka hapa sawa sawa kwa hiyo hapo unaweza kuona unaweza kuona naomba nionyeshe kitu fulani hapa hii level ya pili level ya kwanza ilishia hapo kabla ya kucreate level ya pili sawa eh uh, just watch it sawa okay ukipima okay, distance ya kutoka hapa hastalingana sana lakini sitatofautiana kidogo ya tofauti kati ya level ya kwanza na level ya pili utaona kuja kuweka hapa uh, itatofautiana kidogo kidogo sana na hii level ambayo imetengenezwa level ya tatu na nafikiri ni kwa sababu pia ya masuala ya hunting kwa hiyo tuna expect kwamba hata hunting zikitokea zinaweza zikashuka mpaka pale kwenye ile level ambayo nimeonyesha uh, kuonyesha kwamba ya respect hizo distance huwa inatokea mara nyingi sana natokea mara nyingi sana okay guys so this is uh, this is uh, uh, level 1 this is level 2 level ya tatu ndio hiyo sasa ambayo nimekuonyesha hapo from this point haijaenda vizuri lakini ilikuwa inaenda so lazima iwe very clear so that one i regard it as level 3 kwangu mimi na i regard kama level 3 kwa hiyo soko mimi kwangu nasema kwamba nimeshamaliza 3 levels nimeshamaliza 3 levels Uh, ingetoka kendo moja kutoka hapa mpaka hapa maana ingekuwa very clear kwa sababu kama hizi kama ni kama hizi ambazo unaziona ingekuwa very clear lakini market makers siku zote hawezi kukuonyeshea kila kitu clear ndio maana level ya tatu wananyongorota nyongorota hivi so that you may not see everything clearly kwa sababu wanajua tayari kuna watu wajanja wanafuatilia nyendo zao eh, kwa hiyo uh, level ya mwisho wanaweza wakaifukua fukua na fulani hivi so that you guys you may not understand or you may be confused ili kwamba usijue kwamba uh, hiyo ndo barabara yao. So, ukiangalia kwenye 4 hours now, ukiangalia kwenye 4 hours, uh, tuna hiyo hicho hicho kitu unachokiona hapo na niliwaambia kwamba kitu cha, cha msingi cha kutazama sasa baada ya hatua hizo ni kuangalia kwenye, kwenye level 3 ni kuangalia sasa uh, ni kuangalia reversal pattern ambayo inakuwa created kwenye hayo kwenye hayo mazingira. Nikiangalia hapa naweza nikaona kitu kama uh, inverse ya head and shoulder lakini pia nikaona nikaona kitu kama kama W pattern pia. I see. So I see those those sort of of stuffs here right now. I see those stuff of uh, sort of stuffs right here. Uh, kwa mfano nikiangalia inverse ya head and shoulder hapo naweza nikaona hichi kitu. Uh, you can see something like this kama head lakini kuna hichi kitu kingine hapa naona ah that is shoulder one kuna hii shoulder two uh, what i see and uh, and this one down here hiyo toko jumla zakaiona kama zakaiona kama nini kama kama head so you have shoulder uh, shoulder number one, shoulder number two, and this is the head so from that case means uh, the market i expect the market to to pull up actually i expect the market to pull up and this is what i see on gbpusd all right guys i hope you can see you can understand what i mean and uh, you can clearly see the point uh, the point around here this is the most important point that i'm trying to make here na na uhakika kwamba inaweza ikawa ni make sense nzuri kabisa okay now what next what next uh kuna kitu kimoja nataka nikiweke hapa 
kwenye hizi uh, hizi whole namba kwa, kwa maana ya additional evidences pamoja na kwamba tayari tumemaliza market maker kuna huwa natumia pia whole numbers ambazo zinaonyesha zile quarter points uh, ama division ya points ya price movements guys uh, soko la forex sio soko la kubahatisha ni soko ambalo liko mathematically calculated ni soko ambalo hizi chart zina move katika mfumo wa kihesabu kabisa na mtu ambaye ulikimbia hesabu unaweza kupata tabu sana kwenye ile eneo na singependa uh, upate hizo tabu you can see kila mstari hapa kila mstari mkubwa and the distance between this red line and another red line is is 50 pips is 50 pips kwa mfano distance kutoka hapa kutoka hapa kuja hapa ni pips 50 naweza kaona 50 pips na kutoka hapo uh, na kutoka hapa kuja hapa ni pips 50 kwa hiyo soko huwa linakuwa na tabia ya kubehave between those points between those points lakini unaona pia ndani yake kuna kuna division nyingine kutoka hapa mpaka hapa ni 50 lakini kuna distance kutoka hapa katikati yani katikati ya hapa na hapa maana kutakuwa na pipsi 25 na katikati ya hapa ya hapa na hapa kutakuwa na pipsi 12.5 which means which means unaweza ukatrade kwa kuangalia distance ya candles uh, ambazo zina behave between uh, uh, between red line one red line and uh, na point ya katikati kwa maana ya pips 25 au red line and red line ambayo ina distance ya pips 50 nakumbuka tumekuwa tukisema kwamba focus ya intraday trader ya kwanza ambapo anapokuwa na trade ni pips 50 pips 50 ambazo ni za uhakika kwenye movement soko lazima lita move katika mfumo huo kwa nini kwa sababu lita behave between uh, between rounded numbers round numbers uh, ambazo ni zinakuwa na distance uh, zinakuwa na, na namba ya pips ya msini, ya msini. Sawa so, guys. Kwa hiyo kiangalia hii, uh, it pull back, it kind of was going up. Kumbuka imefunga between imefunga katikati ya 25 pips. Kwa maana kwamba kwenye mstari wa uh, 12.5 12.5 pips. Lakini hii kendo yake ya, ambayo ilianza hii hapa ili behave between uh, pips 25 za red line and red line na ikaenda moja kwa moja mpaka pips uh, pips ngapi pips uh, 25 hapa itakuwa ni pips kama uh, 52.5 maana kwenye uh, 40 au 38.8 something unaona kwa hiyo kijumlisha maana yake utapata pips kama around 60 utakuwa kama pips around 60 ambazo soko hapa lili move. Kwa hiyo tukipima hapa utaona hapa hii kendo nyekundu ilishuka kutoka hapo mpaka hapa eh, yes, pipsi 61. You see, zina behave humu ndani, zina behave humu ndani. Kwa na hizo namba ni nzuri kwa sababu uh, utakapokuwa na trade ukaziona bado sija cover yale magap. Yaani sija cover gap ya distance between one uh, number of people between one uh, one gap and another unaweza kaingia kwa ajili ya kukafa zile pips ambazo zimesalia na kukatengeneza profit. So guys, uh, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm saying na utaona kwamba kuna opportunity hapo. Sasa, the question is Jumatatu utakapoingia sokoni, how are you going to trade? How are you going to trade it? Eh? Sababu hapo umeona hicho kitu lakini ukiingia Jumatatu sokoni uta trade vipi? So here is where now I want to discuss about about it. Okay. Uh, kitu cha, cha kuzingatia kwa intraday trade ambaye atatrade kwa siku. Tarudi kwenye daily chart. Tunatumia mfumo ule ule wa uh, market uh, strategy ni ile ile ya market maker method. Utapima this utapima uta, utatambua ama uta, uta identify high of the day. Kwa sababu high of the day tuna identify vipi? Nilishaelezea kwenye video zingine. High of the day unaangalia ile kendo iliyofunga ya mwisho ya daily ile kendo ya mwisho iliyofunga ya daily alafu unaangalia ilipanda mpaka wapi 
uh, ile high yake ambayo ili, ilipanda ndio tuna regard as high of the day kwa maana ya previous day kwa mfano hapo tuna locate tuna locate hapo this was high of the day kwenye soko la Ijumaa na low of the day kwenye soko la Ijumaa ilikuwa ni hii hapa this was low of the day kwenye soko la Ijumaa sasa tujaribu kuziweka hivi ili tuweze kutambua opportunity ambazo ni za ghafla ambazo tutazinyaka kama mapema mapema na asubuhi asubuhi ili kwamba tuweze kuna nini kutengeneza pesa sokoni baada ya hapo unarudi sasa kwenye 15 minutes time frame kumbuka pamoja na analysis ambayo tulifanya mwanzoni pia uh, entry yetu huwa tunaitafuta kwenye 15 minutes time frame sasa tumerudi kwenye 15 minutes time frame tunaangalia okay tunaangalia mfumo wa soko ukoje utaona hapa tuna high of the day but to locate uh I'm going to me labels tumia label ambazo zenyewe hazimove na chart this is high of the day sawa high of the day and what is this down here this down here is or was low of the day it is called low of the day so you can see to me he, he label so guys this is law law of the day okay nice very nice law of the day law of the day so this is high of the day this is law of the day sasa tunaangalia tunaangalia levels levels za intraday cycle. Sasa hii ndio inaitwa intraday cycle kwa sababu tunaiangalia kwenye 15 minutes time frame lakini tunaangalia katika katika uh, distance ndogo. Okay, 15 minutes time frame. Tunaona soko li behave vizuri sana kwenye half the day. You see this candle. This was a stop hunt kwa siku ya kwa siku ya Ijumaa. Kendo lipanda above half the day lakini karudi na ikatengeneza hii M pattern. Kwa mtu ambaye alikuwa mjanja alikuwa anasubiria hapa, shamaliza this was level 1. Afrika rudi juu kidogo hapa kwenye ile eneo. Sasa hivi imetengeneza level 2. So level 1 baada ya M pattern ni hii hapa. Kabla ya pullback. So this was level 1. This was level 1. This was level 1. Level 1 kwenye 15 minutes time frame intraday cycle. Level 2 ni hii hapa baada ya pullback kwa hiyo mimi wanaambia watu ukishaona stop hunt kama imefanyika na soko likawa limeshatengeza level 1 wewe unaingia na baada ya pullback kwa maana kwamba hii pullback unasubiri itengeneze hii kendo ya kwanza ya pili unaingia na ile kendo ya tatu hata kama itarudi juu kidogo lakini itaendelea this is level level 2 this is level 2 guys alright so this is level 2 Uh, okay, let me show you. So this is level 2. This is level 2. Uh level 1, level 2 and uh, the market went on. The market went on. Limetengeneza level 3. Shatengeneza level 3. Hii ni level 3, guys. Hii ni level 3. Hii ni level 3 iko clear kabisa. Hii ni level 3 iko clear kabisa level 3 ipo ipo clear kabisa uh, this is level 3 iko clear kabisa iko very clear kitu cha ni kwamba utakuja kugundua uh, hii ambayo wanaita magic of, of high of the day and low of the day the magic of high of the day and low of the day ni kwamba soko la Ijumaa aliku behave Yaani halikuondoka nje ya high of the day na low of the day. Maana movement zake ambazo ni clear zilifanyika ndani ya high of the day and low of the day. Let me show you. Kuna mtu anajiuliza, is it true? Yes, it is true. Kwa sababu hii ni high of the day. Maana ile kendo ya dele maana yake ndio inawakilisha hii distance hapa. Maana yake soko halikupanda zaidi ya hapa ama likashuka zaidi ya hapa. Ijumaa nzima. Soko likuwa na behave between pap 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 
Haizekana lianzia hapa, likapanda mpaka hapa, likarudi hivi ama lianzia hapa ndo likashuka hivi mpaka lo. Ndio maana maana ikende imeshuka mpaka imegonga kwenye half the day afu inarudi. Which means, which means kama tunatoka kwenye law of the day sasa, means tunategemea tuone pattern inayotengenezwa hapa. Pattern itakayotengenezwa hapa inawezekana ikawa ni ikawa ni inverse ya head and shoulder kwa maana kwamba hii ikawa shoulder na hii hapa ikaanza kutengeneza vikendo vya kupanda katengeza vikendo uh, vya kupanda ambavyo sasa uh, baadaye itakuwa hivi au au ikashuka mpaka chini hapa mpaka chini hapa tena alafu ikawa imetengeneza w pattern ikaanza kupanda ndio maana unaona huwa na chora chora hizi kuna watu wengine wanafikiri na chora tu i'm not drawing from no anyway uh, from nowhere guys i'm drawing from Uh, uh, from knowing what is happening in the market usipojua inachotokea kwenye market unaweza kuchoria choria watu vi michoro hivi ukaonekana kichaa but you have to be very careful on what you are doing this is very logic so kwa hapa you can see kama itashuka mpaka hapo ku retest kwenye law of the day kwa maana kesho maana yake itakuwa imetutengenezea itakuwa imetutengenezea uh, w w pattern ambayo pia tunaitambua kama reverse pattern. Ndio maana kwa nini huwa tunasema tu trade sasa? Kwa sababu uh, Asian session ndio muda sasa waichi wa, 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 waichi kitu kutengenezwa. Waichi kitu kutengenezwa. Inawezekana ikashuka sana hapa na ikafanya kama false breakout, ikagonga stop loss za watu ambao walikuwa wame buy. Sawa so, sawa, so, nje ile eneo. Alafu ile kendo ikamenywa ikarudi ndani ile eneo, alafu ikaanza kupanda juu. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? So you guys uh, kwa sababu tumesha confirm kwamba soko lipo kwenye uh, kwenye kwenye katikali behave between low of the day kwenda kwenye high of the day maana yake tuna opportunity ya kubai. So what are we going to do on Monday? What uh, what we are going to do on Monday when the market open just wait guys. Wait and after stop hunt baada ya stop hunt kufanyika eh baada ya jamaa kula stop losses za watu na kupunguza watu sokoni Uh, kwenye London session pale ndo tuna tunaingia sokoni. Ukishaingia sokoni kwenye London session una hold position yako kwa masaa 4 forwards mpaka kwenye around uh, lisali moja kabla ya New York session unaweza ukatoka kwa sababu lisali moja lile pia kuna stop hunt zingine wanakuwa hunted kwa sababu market maker ndo wanajua wana, wanafahamu wana kabisa kwamba kuna watu wana trade New York kwa hiyo kuna watu watakuwa naingiza mizigo mingi sokoni uh, kwenye New York session kwa hiyo kuna watu ambao wana trade London kwa hiyo kuna watu na kwa hiyo kwenye zile movement ile kubalance soko huwa wanafanya stop watch na kukusanya contract za kutosha na kutafuta liquidity ya kutosha kabla ya kuamua direction ya soko. Alright guys, I think up there kuna kitu umekipata kwenye hii pair yetu ya GBP USD. And a question, I think tunaweza kuniuliza kwenye group group letu la Telegram ambayo ambalo tuna tunafanya vitu hivi. Okay. I'm done with GBPUSD. Nafikiri sasa ni wakati wako wa kuona what you can do. What you can do on on Monday. Okay. So we have a GBP, another GBP pair ambayo ni GBP JPY. One thing that I want to add there. Uh, kwenye analysis ambayo imepita. Tunaona tuna uh, tuna news inaitwa GDP, Growth Domestic Product. Na nilikusha elezea kwamba growth domestic product uh, growth domestic product uh, ambayo ambayo uh, inategemewa kutolewa siku ya kesho uh, inakuwa na lenga inakuwa na lenga uh, products uh, produced within the border of, of that of, 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 of UK yani uh, inapima bidhaa ambazo zimetengenezwa ndani ya Uh, ya, 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 ya mipaka ya nchi ya UK uh, lakini pia inakuwa inaonyesha hali ya uchumi inavyokwenda inavyo kwa hiyo ukiangalia expected value ya GDP ya, ya, ya GDP ya UK kesho utaona ukiangalia kwenye my FX time frame utaona previous ilikuwa ni 0% GDP ilikuwa 0% uh, kwa maana kwamba uh, uzalishaji pengine haukubadilika kutokana na previous zile nyingine ama ulikuwa ni zero kwa maana kwamba GDP haiku haikubadilika lakini this time around 
wana expect kwamba GDP ikue kwa 0.1%. Kwa expected value ni 0.1%. As I, as I explained kwenye issue ya news, nilisema kwamba kwenye GDP uh, GDP uh, uta, uh, ukiona hizi uh, hizi 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 data zimekuwa increased zimeongezeka ama zimekuwa more than expected uh, na au imekuwa as expected lakini imekuwa higher than previous means means kwamba inaweza kaifanya kaifanya uh, uh, ile, ile currency kuwa strong kwa kama kesho jumatatu GDP itakuwa positive au ikawa kama expected kwa sababu expected ni 0.1 ambayo ni higher than previous kwa sababu previous ni 0%. Means uh, tunaweza tuka uh, tukashum kwamba inawezekana uh, movement ya, ya, ya bullish market kwenye pesa za GDP ikaanza kutokea kuanzia Jumatatu kabla ya Jumanne ambayo tutakuwa na Brexit. Kumbuka Jumanne tuna Brexit vote ambapo sasa uh, ile rasimu ya kujitoa Uh, kwenye umo, uh, ile rasimu ya makubaliano ambayo May alikubaliana umoja wa Ulaya itarejeshwa ita, ita kwenye bunge la Uingereza sasa ili ipigiwe kura na wabunge kama na wenyewe watakubali uh, na kama watakubali manake Jumanne inawezekana pound ikawa very strong zaidi uh, kwamba May atakuwa amepiga hatua kwenye kufaulu kwenye mchakato wake uh, wa kuhakikisha kwamba uh, mambo yanakwenda vizuri kwenye nchi yake Alright guys So, uh, here I have another another package. This is GBP JPY. Na bahati nzuri hizi pairs zinakuwa zinafanana fanano kwenye setup. Kwa hiyo unaona ziko hivi na kwa nini? Kwa sababu zina correlate. Correlation percentage yake ni kubwa sana kwa sababu zina move together. Kwa hiyo GBP JPY, GBP USD, most of time ukikuta GBP USD na sell, uh, si ajabu ukakuta GBP JPY na yenyewe na sell. Why? Kwa sababu they have high percentage of correlation. Na ukiangalia GBP JPY hapa utaona na yenyewe na level 1, level 2 na hii ni level 3 kama ambavyo tuliona kwenye GBP USD. Kwa hiyo hii nayo hata analisi yake hata analisi yake ni ya mfumo ule ule ambao tuliutumia kwenye GBP USD guys, GBP USD. Kwa hiyo sioni kitu cha tofauti sana kwenye uh, kwenye GBP JPY na utakuja kuona hata kwenye uh, kwenye hizi namba huu namba ama round number bado na zenyewe zina behave mazingira yale yale you see zina behave kwenye uh, maeneo yale yale utaoyu ushangaa utashangaa sana hizi uh, namba utakuta zina bounce kwenye round number zita bounce kwenye round number exactly exactly kwenye round number uh, exactly kwenye round number so unaweza kujiuliza why why Ukiweza kujua ni sababu cha round number you'll be making you'll be making money too. So level 1, level 2, level 3 which means na yenyewe analisi yake ni ya ku ni ya kubai. Kama ambavyo nilielezea na hata pia kwenye kutazama kwa intraday ambako sasa hii ndio focus yetu kubwa utaona high of the day uh, this is was the high of the day kwa maana ya high of the day okay sasa na kuonyesha vitu gani vya kuangalia kwenye hii pea jumatatu. Mbuka tuna trade kuanzia kwenye London Open Asian session zenyewe ni uh, session ambazo huwa uh, tunaishia kuzitazama tu kwa sababu zina zina stop hunt baadaye na vitu kama hivyo ambavyo vinaweza vikatufanya tusiwe kwenye profit kwa namna ambayo tunataka. Okay. So this is uh, So this is uh, this is GBP JPY. This is law of the day. Buka ukishia locate high of the day na law of the day. Unarudi kwenye small time frame. So this is law of the day. Law of the day on what? On GBP JPY. And this one here, this point here is high of the day. High of high of the day. That is high of the day. See? that is high of the day all right guys so that is uh, this what down here is low of the day this up here is high of the day so high of the day low of the day na tunaangalia sasa soko lilivyo behave between high of the day na low of the day tunaona hapa soko li behave vizuri from this point down here angalia kuna m pattern soko lika behave likaja hapa kwenye low of the day kuna W pattern unaiona una hapa this is W pattern 
Eh? Can't you see this W pattern here, guys? I believe you can see. This is a W pattern. So we only W pattern up. This is W pattern, guys. Hmm. Iko very clear. W pattern. Ambazo tunazita reverse pattern. Our market maker reverse patterns. Wana stumia sana hawa. Okay, bada ya hapo, tukatanza level 1, level 2, level 3. See, this is level 3. Bada level 3, tunaona hapa, tumetengeneza, tukatengenezewa M pattern. You see guys. Nataka ni kwenyeshe the magic behind high of the day and low of the day. It's very important. Unaona M pattern. Bada ya hapo, unaona soko li mebehave. Na hili soko la mwezi wa kuminambili li tabehave katika mfumo huu sana. Eh? Bada hapo nona soko li mebehave. Level 1, uh, I've pulled back. Nona hii pulled back ya hapa, ikendo ilo panda. Kwa yomtu waliko mjanchi, hali ingia na ikendo. Afu ikashuka. Level 2, alafu ikafanya pull back. Alafu level 3. Bada ya hapa, tunona imesha tengeneza W. Hii imesha maliza kutengeneza W. Imesha maliza kutengeneza W na imesha maliza level 1. Hii level 1 tayari. Kwa hii GBP J2 na imekuja imebounce kwenye 50. Imebounce kwenye 50. Wow. What a wonderful opportunity. Kwa hiyo I believe GBP J2 ni opportunity ya kubai kwa maana ya kuenda kutengeneza ya kuenda kutengeneza kuja mpaka hapa bado nzuri usha kuwa na hizi huru namba huna haja ya kutumia fiber na tena kwa sababu uh, unaweza ukaziona ukaona ni wapi soko linaweza likabehave kwa mfumo gani kufano hapa nime assume kwamba nitaweza kubehave kwenye 50 round uh, kwenye kwenye hii uh, kwenye hii round namba hapa ya hiyo rank alafu litapanda uh, pengine mpaka huku juu kwa maana ya level 2 and level 3 hapa linaweza likafanya some sort of consolidation then likaendelea So guys, uh, what I'm seeing is this one, this this thing on, on Monday. So GBP, JPY, this is what I see. The behavior of the market between high of the, low of the day and high of the day. As you can see, kwa sababu hapo lipo kwenye, kwa sababu soko hapo lipo kwenye, lipo kwenye hii red line, round number, red line, manake, kama lita behave between that point and this point, dari lita kuali metengeza PPC, ishirini, kutoka hapo, Paka hapa ni pipsi 20 eh, na pipsi 25 lakini kutoka ha, uh, kutoka hapo mpaka hapa tayari soko litakuwa limetengeneza pipsi 50 sawa kwa hiyo kama soko litabeba mpaka hapo ikifika tu hapa pipsi 50 zinatosha just get out of the market kwa nini kwa sababu hapa tutakuwa tuko kwenye round number ambayo ni 50 kwa hiyo round number ambayo ni 50 maana yake soko linaweza likafanya some consolidation sawa sawa au likapanda mpaka huko juu alafu ndo ndipo likaanza kufanya some hunting ah, nje ya high of the day kufanya some hunting nje ya high of the day alafu ndipo lika kaendelea so guys this is another opportunity lakini pia hapa ilipo linaweza kushuka tena kuja kwa retest hapa likatengeneza a clear a more clear w pattern alafu ndo lika likapanda so opportunity uh, uh, njia zote ni sahihi inaweza likatokea na kutoka hapo mpaka hapa maana yake na yeye ni pipsi shina tano kama itashuka hapo mpaka hapo maana yake itakuwa na pipsi 25 alafu uh, linakuja na ndio zile hunting ambazo tunasema tuna, kuna hunting ya pipsi 25 hunting ya pipsi 50 ukiwa na hizi round numbers zinaweza zikakusaidia but nzuri hizi round number unaweza kuzipata for free kwenye kwenye Google tu na Google round number za forex unazipata una, una utapata version nyingi chukua ya ambayo unaona kwamba kwako itakuwa more more suitable na haitakusumbua kuna vitu vingi vina vina vinapatikana bure lakini kuna watu wanajaribu kuviuza guys kuna mtu mmoja anawaambia wenzake anauza MT4 can you buy MT4 guys is it serious eh serious kabisa unauza unauza MT4 isikudanganya watu kwa sababu eti hawajui forex na kwa sababu mtu anataka kufanya biashara ya forex ananunua MT4 eh, you buy MT4 mimi nakuuzia eh, nakuuzia na signal uh, afu wewe unataka kununua MT4 It's better to buy a signal. Lakini usije kununua signal kwa mtu ambaye haeleweki. Lakini pia it's not good to depend on signal on your entire life. That's why I'm teaching you this stuff guys. Hivi tunavyokufundisha ukishavielewa zaidi maana yake utaanza kujitegemea. Kuna watu ambao wanajua forex lakini wanachukua signal kwangu. Why? Kwa sababu wanataka kujifunza kupitia signal zangu. Signal zangu sitoi tu signal tu hovyo. 
natoa signals zenye chat. Kwa mtu akiona ile chat anaanza kufuatilia hichi kwa nini ametoa hii chat iko hivi, kwa nini hapa ni buy, kwa nini hapa ni sell. At the end of the day, anaanza ku act the way I act. Anaanza kufanya vile ninavyofanya mimi. You see guys? Kwa hiyo inakusaidia sana. Alright. Nafikiri kwenye GBP tumemaliza hiyo GBP uh, GBP tumemaliza hiyo GPY Okay uh, sasa hivi naomba nitazungumza kuhusiana na uh, na pair moja uh, that will be our watch list for the coming week lakini naomba nizungumze kuhusiana na hii pair inaitwa CHF JP uh, USD Swiss franc USD Swiss franc tutaanza nayo mbali lakini tutaanza nayo karibu tu hapa alright alright guys alright guys okay i enjoy this i enjoy this i enjoy this don't worry i enjoy this i enjoy this moja ya pea ambayo uh, imekuwa recent na movement ambazo watu wamekuwa wazielewi sana uh, ni hii pea ya USD Swiss franc lakini this time around imekaa vizuri sana na we can make money out of it can make money out of it guys ukiangalia USD Swiss franc utaona uh, hapa chini ilitengeneza inverse ya head and shoulder you see this shoulder shoulder alafu this is head alafu ikafanya uh, level 1 movement level 1 katengeneza level 2 alafu ikaja kamalizia level 3 this one here hii kwa kind of consolidation level 3 baada ya kumaliza level 3 ikatengeneza some sort of whatever it created lakini imetengeneza sasa M pattern hapa. This is kind of M pattern this one here. Unaweza kurigard hii kama M pattern kwa picha kubwa au kurigard hii hapa ambayo ni uh, ni kama ni kama head and uh, head, head and shoulder kwa maana hii head shoulder 1 shoulder 2 alafu level 1 sasa hivi inakwenda sasa kutengeneza level 2 na itamalizia na level 3. Kwa hiyo mtu ambaye ataniambia hatuna opportunity kwenye USD Swiss franc nitamshangaa sana na inawezekana inabidi tumkemee na mapepo tumfukuze. Okay, so we have opportunity on uh, on USD. We have opportunity on. Naona kwenye uh, kwenye nani haionekani vizuri, naomba nitumie daily. Okay, so uh, we are going to create uh, level 1 imemalizika, level 2 ndio tuko nayo, tunaenda level 2. So we expect to create uh, kuendelea na level 2. Uh, ile level 2 nategemea ishuke mpaka mazingira haya mpaka kwenye round number hii hapa uh, kutoka hapo ni 50 pips uh, 50 pips alafu level 3 uh, i expect level 3 uh, kutoka hapa uh, hapa mpaka hapa uh, sasa uh, another 50 pips yawezekana ikaendelea lakini kumbuka kwenye USD Swiss franc nilishakwambia mwanzoni watu ambao walikuwa kwenye group muda mrefu kwamba hii hii USD Swiss franc uh, inatengeneza <coughs> inatengeneza inatengeneza uptrend why uptrend you can see this one iko kwenye mchakato wa kutengeneza uptrend you see unaona unaona kwa hiyo yawezekana ikashuka ndiyo uh, lakini ikifika mazingira haya yawezekana ika ikarudi juu tena karudi juu tena kwa nini inatengeneza uptrend baada ya fall kubwa sana ambayo ilitokea falling kubwa sana ambayo ilitokea eh kutoka 2001 na moja. kutoka 2001 na moja, ilishuka hii pea ilishuka ilikuwa ni downtrend mpaka 2011 na na kwa hiyo miaka kumi. miaka kumi USD Swiss franc ilikuwa inashuka tu ina sell kwa miaka kumi. kwa this time around I expect sasa uh, itaanza kubaki kutoka 2011 na na moja, inakuwa inapanda taratibu japokuwa ni taratibu lakini inapanda mpaka 2018. Okay, kwa hiyo hii ni uptrend lakini tuna opportunity ya kuseli kidogo kwa muda fulani. Eh, unaona mstari unakopita. Kwa hiyo tuna opportunity ya kuseli hapo. Eh, you see where it is. Kwa hiyo inawezekana kwenye daily ikashuka. Na inawezekana ikashuka mpaka hata kuja ku retest kwenye hii hii trend line. Kwa hiyo you should this frank guys is a pair to trade, is a pair to keep is a pair to go with and i'm sure you can make good money out of it sasa hii ni daily hii ni daily chart uh, tunaweza pia sasa tukafanya kwa mfumo wetu ule wa uh, wa kuangalia uh, ile ile high of the day kwa sababu hii ni candle iliyofunga uh, siku ya Ijumaa kwa tunalocate ile peak 
yolo high of the day ambayo ilifunga eh naomba kwa wale watu ambao hawajajua tunachokifanya hapa kwa nini naangalia high of the day na low of the day mrejee some video ambazo ziko kwenye hii channel uh, uweze kuona kwa nini itakusaidia sana na singependa kurudia hapa kwa sababu tuna pea nyingi bado za ku analyze guys you can see uh, hii ni USD Swiss franc wow what a wonderful opportunity guys what a wonderful opportunity what a wonderful opportunity you can see na imekuonyesha vizuri kabisa kwamba jamani tayari nimetengeneza w hapa just buy me do you see this w here guys do you see this w here just buy me just buy me eh just buy me just buy me eh okay Okay. Hii ni USD Swiss franc. Inakuonyesha opportunity ya kubai inakuonyesha opportunity ya kubai Kwa maana kwamba imekutengenezea reversal pattern tayari kwenye law of the day. Lakini tukiangalia kwenye time frame kubwa, tunaona bado ina opportunity ya kufanya nini? Ya kusell. Sasa, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Guys. Let me tell you something. Uh Ukiangalia hapa ilitengeza uh, M pattern around low, high of the day. Ikatengeneza level 1. Sawa? Ili ilikuwa extended lakini ilifunga maeneo hayo. Pull back level 2, alafu level 3, alafu baadaye imetengeneza hii. Okay. I may say that kwa sababu ni small time frame, I may say that this pair kwenye kubai ndio inasema just buy me. Lakini you have to be very careful. Why? You can see this pair is now below the round number. Round number, this is the round number. Ya yeah, ya yeah, distance ya pips ya 50. So sawa. Inaweza ikabai kwa maana ya kutrap watu wa buy, lakini kwa sababu tumeshaona kwenye 4 hours kwenye daily kwamba this is a selling opportunity. Guys, this is a buy this is a selling opportunity. Kwa sababu you check it there in kama inafanya retest kwenye hii round number kubwa alafu ije mpaka kwenye hii nyingine na kuendelea na kuendelea sasa na, hapa ndo mali, pale, ndo pale ambako sasa unatakiwa uunganishe concept ya counting of levels counting of levels kwenye 4 hours time frame ama kwenye daily time frame na counting of levels kwenye small time frame ukiona counting of levels kwenye higher time frame inaonyesha kwamba bado inatakiwa endelee kushuka kwenye smaller time frame don't take on opportunity opposite ya ya direction ya kwenye 4 hours time frame sawa uki narudia tena ukiona counting ya levels levels hazijatimia kwenye 4 hours time frame kama kwa mfano USD Swiss franc ni level 1 na level 2 maana yake atakaye endelea kutengeneza level uh, ile level 2 yenyewe kamiliki alafu endelea kutengeneza level 3 si ndio maana yake sasa we are on sale we are on short market tunatakiwa kusell sio kubai. Kwa ukija kwenye time frame ndogo inakuonyesha what opportunity to buy. What a wonderful opportunity to buy. Kwa, kwa watu ambao pia wanafahamu market maker method lakini wanashindwa ku connect concept ya counting of levels kwenye four large time frame na kwenye smaller time frame ambayo ni intraday cycle bado wanaweza wakafeli hapa. Unaweza kaingia ndio ikawa imefanya kama uh, psychological trap flani ya kuwavuta watu juu afu baadaye ikashuka ikaporomoka balaa na usione tena dunia hii. Guys, take opportunity for short. Take every short opportunity hapa. Hizi za kubai labda uingie kuscalp na kuondoka lakini opportunity ya uhakika kwenye issues frank, the opportunity I see. Mimi hata kama itabai, I will not buy this trade. I will not buy I'll not buy you this is why why because I'll be against the trend so I have to be along with the trend and what does the trend say the trend is downtrend on four hours time frame so I have to go with the trend do you understand what I'm saying guys so we have to go with the trend the trend is downtrend and you don't you don't want to go opposite you have to take the direction of the trend and the trend is downtrend so this case and this case I say you better wait You better wait you better wait until you see what kind of stop hunt this market is going to do
is going to trap people to buy it might come up to this level then it's going to go down massively no, uh, mark my word it's going to go down massively this is what i see is going to happen guys after saying so i think i have to i have to uh to separate these two videos i'll make another video for the rest of pairs that i said i'm going to 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 analyze but this one i hope you have got something out of it na wale ambao wanahitaji wale ambao wanahitaji uh, uh, kupata maelezo ya setup zingine pamoja na full package ya signal settings zote na muda wa kuingia na wakati ambao tutakuwa tuna trade please join our channel join our channel join our channel join our VIP channel unalipia tu shilingi 50 utakuwa unapata hii huduma kwa mwezi mzima na nimetoa offer kwa wale ambao wanalipia mwezi wa 12 utapata hii huduma uh, one, one month extra uh, uh mwakani. so guys uh let me say that uh, god bless you and uh, have a nice have a nice uh trading week that is coming from today leo usiku nafikiri au tunasema jumatatu utakapofunguliwa uh, soko saa 7 za usiku thank you guys market switch here